welcome back to the channel everybody we're back in the greenhouse today uh, we got a break from snowstorms we've been cleaning up snow for the last couple of weeks uh, as you can see from our previous video Cheryl just put out uh, we did manage to get out here and do a couple of things we cleaned everything up put the doorknob on the door and we're slowly gaining some uh, temperature in the soil as you can see the grass is actually starting to grow on the on the floor here and we got a thermometer it's down about six inches into the soil just below 40 degrees in the soil so we're gaining ground it's 75 in here uh, right now and I think it was 29 degrees out pretty sunny today so good day to uh, do the spray foaming I wanted to do so we got I was online looking for I was gonna buy the large canisters of spray foam for uh, like spraying cavities and stuff on uh, houses and everything but I didn't really need a, a, a whole two canister set to do it to do these seams in here so I was looking online I came across this uh, Kraken Bond spray foam in a can so uh, I thought I'd give it a try uh, it's like an R5 uh, per inch spray I picked it up it came with uh, I think I got eight cans of this. It says 20, should spray 20 board feet, one inch thick out of one can. Uh, came with a gun. The can goes on to, and then the tips are on each can. There's uh, two different tips. One's uh, for a uh, wall, spraying straight on a wall. The other one's a 45 degree tip for spraying onto the ceiling and above head, so. Uh, the kits also came with a cleaner, foam cleaner, for once you're done spraying, you can clean the gun out with this uh, gun cleaner and be able to use it over and over again. So the gun you're going to have uh, forever, should last for a while. So just uh, if this works out good, I think this is the way I'll go with like deer stands and stuff. This make a good sealer for that. So that's what we're up to today. I'll get this thing uh, put together here and we'll give it a try. So the A nozzle is the one that they recommend for straight ahead, so we're going to run that one first. It says you can just push it onto the tip of the gun. I heard it snap there, so give that a try. It's supposed to shake the can real well. Cheryl shook the cans uh, quite a bit here uh, before we got out here, so it should be shook up pretty decent. And you just screw it onto the gun. The back of the gun's got a flow control on the back of it, a dial you just turn to increase or decrease the flow of it, so we'll give it a try here. It says about 8 to 12 inches away. One thing for sure you gotta be back a little bit or otherwise the uh, air kind of blows it right off there. Eh?
Okay, we'll keep spraying here. Looks like coveralls would be recommended, probably. But it seems like it's working pretty good. Uh, we'll get the rest of this sprayed and see what it looks like after it sets up here. Okay, I think we're pretty much done on the inside. Uh, it works really well. Works better than I thought it would. There's one little spot there I just saw here, look at that. For a small project like this, this really worked well. I got one little spot I'm gonna do on the outside here, um, and then we'll clean this gun when I come back in. here a little bit again. Use up the rest of the tube here. Three cans did every seam, covered everything up really good. The temp went up in here quite a bit. Just that uh, made quite a difference. We'll clean the gun quick here if I get this tip off. And then need a plate or something here. Okay, pull the tip off you're using, screw on the cleaner. Just gotta give it some squirts until the until it sprays just clean spray cleaner. That's it. You're good to go. There's plenty of spray cleaner left too. I have uh, five more cans of this and we're all done in here. So yeah, we'll probably do some experimenting with some 
deer stands, I would imagine, uh, sealing up cracks in them and things like that. Uh, every can came with a pair of disposable gloves, which I'd recommend because it's fairly dirty spraying it, but um, yeah, check them out. Kraken Vaughn, uh, I can't remember the website off the top of my head, no. Kraken, was it Kraken Chemical? Kraken Chem? www.krakenchem.com I would highly recommend it. It worked really well in here uh, for a small project like this. It's a, a good deal for that, so. I guess uh, for today, that'll be about it. Uh, we'll keep working on the greenhouse. The next thing we'll do here is start working on our greenhouse uh, shelving next. So like, like and subscribe. And until next time, keep on living the good life.